school, um, but at home. So we're going to talk a little, a little bit about writing SMART goals, why you write goals down, and then how to write a goal. So, goals. Turn your dreams into reality. Okay, what are SMART goals? First criteria for a SMART goal is that it's specific. Um, this means that it wouldn't be like, I'm going to solve world hunger. Probably more specific, like I'm going to feed a specific person. So, um, a little bit different. Well, SMART goals need to be measurable. So you need to be know over time um, how far you've gotten into your goal. So having timelines, line marks, things like that. They need to be achievable. Um, so back to that solving world hunger. Uh, that may not be an achievable goal. Uh, it's a great goal, but it's probably not achievable. Um, something that might be more achievable is saying, I'm going to buy you lunch today, so I'm going to feed you today. Right? That's an achievable goal. Um, they need to be results focused. So when you create a goal, it needs to have a result in mind. You need to be able to tell that the goal has been started and finished. And they also need to be time bound. Um, it doesn't have to be like by a specific date necessarily, but maybe by the end of a specific time. Um, so you wanna plan a garden. You wanna start in this time. You wanna harvest by the end of this season. It can be specific like that. Why do you need to write goals down? First, you need to clarify what you wanna accomplish. Um, if you don't write it down, it can change. As you think of your goal, it will change. When you put it on paper, it makes it concrete. It will motivate you to take action. If you write your goal, put it someplace where you see it all the time, it will remind you of what your goal is and what you want to accomplish. It'll help you overcome resistance. Uh, I think many of us have been there where they tell somebody they're gonna do something and they're met with, that's just not doable. Uh, but if you have a concrete goal with great objectives, it's really easy to argue with them that you can accomplish your goal. So, that, and it helps you celebrate your progress. Um, so let's say your goal was to complete this class with a B or better. When you finish the class with a B, you got your goal. You get to celebrate, and you should celebrate every time you accomplish a goal. All right, sharing is caring. Why you should share your goals with others. Sharing your goals with others helps you with the accountability of your goal. Um, and it helps others to keep you accountable. If someone knows what you're working towards, they can ask you questions about it. Um, they can ask you about your milestones. They can say, hey, how's that going? You know what I mean? They help keep you accountable. Sharing goals help others support you in your path to your goal. So they can help you celebrate the small victories along the way. Sharing goals can let others in on the celebration of completing them. How to write a goal. First, you have to create a SMART goal. So SMART is an acronym, if you guys didn't see that earlier. It means specific, measurable, achievable, results focused, and time bound. Create objectives that will help you get your goal steps. Make sure these steps are small, that they're specific, and there could be as many as you need, whatever you might have to do to reach that goal. Even if it's, how about it's writing a goal about creating goals. You would write, create a SMART goal, create objectives. And you could do as many steps as it might need to take to accomplish that goal. Then you need to write it down, make sure it's on paper. You need to share it with others, and then reevaluate as often as possible. Reevaluating re goals is almost as, as important as the SMART part. Um, sometimes you get to about halfway through your goal and you realize it's just not gonna work. Or maybe it's just not what you want anymore. Um, so it's good to sit down with your goals often, um, look at their feasibility, their achievability, and maybe rewrite them, 
And then when you rewrite them or reevaluate them, share them with the people who are helping you celebrate and keep you accountable. And always remember to celebrate. So question about goals. As often as you feel necessary. Monthly? Mm -hmm. I think it would depend on how time bound they are. If you have a six month goal, reevaluate it every month. See where you're at on your objectives and then see if you need to re recalculate anything. If it's a daily goal, check it throughout the day. Am I there? Did I get there yet? It's two o'clock. I was supposed to have it done by when? Well, so, I like the part about the, I mean, you just said daily, so there would be like the short-term goals that lead to long-term goals mm -hmm. to success. Yeah. yeah. You can use goals in your everyday. It could be as simple as a to-do list. Uh, the objective is to complete the list. That's your goal, to complete my list. The objective is to do this, this, this. So goals can be daily, and they can be long-term. Some people set five-year goals. Um, goals can help you, like in your education, on planning for your homework, planning for your class schedules, planning for your graduation. Um, they can help you in your personal life if you have wellness goals, fitness goals, plans to, for a party you can set goals. I mean, goals can be for anything. You set the goal, plan the objectives, and follow the course. So we talked about how goals need to be smart, how you need to write them down, have accountability, and how they can be used in every part of your life. So you guys ready to write some goals? What if, what if you have a goal is that you thought was something that you could do, but you couldn't? You could just change part of the criteria. You could reevaluate. Reevaluate mm -hmm. and just adjust it. Keep the same goal. Move forward. Yeah. All right. So you guys understand goals? You ready to write goals? Yes. All right. I'm blue.